going to give you a quick demo of my Raspberry Pi cart wall. This is something you could use for student radio, community radio, hospital radio, or for playing in sound effects in a school play or something like that. It's a normal Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's got a Pimeroni Hyperpixel touchscreen on, but I think it would work with pretty much any touchscreen, but that's what the code is optimised for. It's just one Python script. There's no extra software installed. All you have to do is put a whole bunch of WAV files, up to 14 WAV files, in your Raspberry Pi's music directory. The program scans the directory and loads up in alphabetical order the first 14 WAV files that it finds and assigns each one to a button. So then if you push a button, a sound will come out. One, two, three, four, five. Um, there's a clock at the bottom, although as you may have noticed, the clock actually stops when the audio is playing. Something I need to work on. Um, you can assign up to 14 buttons. I think you're absolutely terrible and let them play with you again. Uh, example of the kind of random sounds I found on my computer. Uh, here's another one that you might recognise. This is London. And some sound effects. And that kind of thing. Um, I've got a few buttons down the bottom. One to shut the Raspberry Pi down. One to close the app so you can get back to the Pixel desktop. Another one I thought might be quite useful was one that just displays the Raspberry Pi's IP address. Button's a little bit too small. No, there we go. Can't quite click on it. Okay, that's not working. Interesting. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> got the IP address. My fat fingers are too big for it. So um, I've got another button over here as well, a fourth button that I haven't found a use for yet. So if you've got any ideas what I could use that fourth button for, let me know. Um, suggestions so far include GTS pips. Um, I thought maybe I could put some 1K tone on it. You'd have to add additional sound files for that. I quite like the fact this just runs off one Python script.